Hello and welcome back to episode 5 of Redstone Ready Super Flat Survival. And if you notice a difference here, I actually have a house. And in the last episode, I did not have a house. And I built this all while I was off camera. So now let's just sleep a bit and oh my god, I have to go and kill that stupid spider. Yeah, so we got more mob drops. And yep, there's a zombie. Oh. Darn, he's pretty, he's pretty fast. Yeah, anyway. Well, uh, is, is there is, is there another one? Oh, we got some witch spawns over there. Wait, where 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 is everybody? Where is everybody? Oh my god, spider. It's okay, I have a bow. So anyway, uh, I built this house. I built this house just in the middle of episodes because I didn't want to bore you guys out. So let me see. I'll just kill all these zombies off right here. Just kill maybe these witches over there. See, may hopefully they'll drop something useful. And of course it takes so much hits to kill a witch. Let me see, am I overshooting or not? Oh yep, we got that witch. Yep, no, I'll just kill that one. Witches drop a variety of useful and oh my god, it's impossible. I'm out of like... Uh, I am out of arrows. Oh, wait, why? What? How? How's that? How did they get inside my house? Yeah, this is... I'm, I'm not gonna tolerate behavior like this. So anyway, so I built my house and I put torches all over it to light it so there's not gonna be much monsters. And mm, right here's my chest, my agriculture chest right here for growing trees and later it will be for... And later it's going to be used for... Um, it's going to be used for growing uh, potatoes and... Oh my god, there's an enderman. Yeah, it's later going to be used for growing potatoes and carrots, and I'm also going to have some redstone here, I'm going to have a bunch of just, um, a bunch of other stuff there. But anyway, I guess I should go get that, um, go get those. But oh my god, I'm so low on health. Yeah, this wasn't the best exact time to take tours of my, um, house. Oh my god, there's a glowstone. We got glowstone. We got glowstone. Okay, 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 witch. Okay. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Let's open that. Okay, okay. Zombie, please drop enchanted armor, zombie. Oh, I forgot to close that door over there. Oh my god, he's, he's throwing potions. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Yes! Oh my god! Oh! Oh my god! We got iron! Oh my god! We got sugar! We got glowstone! We got an iron! We got a golden helmet! This is just so good, guys! I really did not expect to get iron! But that zombie gave us iron and a golden helmet. What are the chances of that? Wow, guys, we really got lucky that time. Yeah, so anyway, so I built this um house right here over here. I put, like, these um, uh, ladders everywhere so I could easily climb up. And here's my agriculture chest, like I said, with bone meal and oak saplings. Here's my miscellaneous chest where I just put miscellaneous stuff, like, Run right next to my crafting table. Here's my uh, mob drop short term storage. Here's where my rare mob drops are on this side. And uh, right here are all my regular mob drops. But I'm also going to have long term storage of mob drops out here. But unfortunately, I do have to currently go inside right here every time I want to put in uh, some mob drops. But anyway, um, it's not the mob grinder is not extremely efficient. It's not 
leaving, like, it's not... Sometimes we are low on many resources, like, uh, I'm, I'm low on arrows right now for some reason, even though I didn't really use them very much. I'm kind of low on arrows right now. So it's not an incredibly efficient mob grinder. I'm planning to actually, um stack this mob grinder design so then we're gonna have better spawn rates and let me just place some torches all around the place I just like torches 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 and torches um, anyway so uh, I was thinking about making a carpet in here so I have carpet and I was thinking we can't actually we can't get any type of dyes in this game since we don't have water but when we get water then we're gonna be able to um make black dye by spawning squid and look at that we got um we got a witch spawn and oh my god guys we got two glowstone this is just this episode is just so lucky i don't know why but we're just getting so much epic stuff and do you know what we can do with four glowstone glowstone block oh my god oh oh my god so let me see. Hmm, I have to place it carefully. Oh yes, I'm gonna place it right over here because this is where the let's play started. Right, or maybe should I place it maybe right over here? No, I'm not gonna place it outside. I'm gonna place it inside my house. Yup, right here's gonna be our glowstone piece because this marks the dirt where we first started. This is where the tree grew when we first started. So I thought of a this is gonna be like a monument to that. But we're hopefully gonna get more glowstone. And we're hopefully gonna make more um, glowstone blocks because it's a very useful resource. So what I thought now, guys, that now since I got a little base set up, I'm also gonna place more. Um, I think I'm also gonna place more like. Um, let me see. Yeah, I'm gonna place a crafting table right here just in case, right next to glowstone. Um, so I don't not as not to cover it up. Um, I think. Yeah. Let me see. Just place five like this. Two and two and two and two and two and two and two. Just make two chests. Place them over here. I don't know why, but just just um, chests are good. The more chests, the better. It's nice to have chests. Place them right here. Even though I don't really have anything inside them yet, they're just gonna be empty chests. Just for when I need a chest. Let's see. Maybe I should um. Maybe I should build uh. Torch, or maybe I should be able to. Over here, maybe I'm gonna have a brewing stand, so actually, no, that, on the other hand, not. Um, I actually made some signs here, mob drops short term. Let's go collect some of that over here. Uh, and I really don't like always walking back and forth. So, what I've been thinking, guys, is that since, I mean, there's like a lot bunch of like mobs going inside here at night, I'm going to um, fence this into inside a fence gate. I uh, inside like a cobblestone fence so I was going down inside and I was thinking I really don't like going down here like that so I was thinking is that I may might or maybe not make like a vertical down with uh, ladders 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 1 just one right here one right here anyway uh, yeah, I actually do want to mine a bit more sandstone because I have not yet repaired fully the damage that has been done by the creepers down there. And I has, have not even fully lit up the place, and I do expect some mobs to be there, so that's one of the reasons why I decided to start filming right now. Because, well, when I... it's I think it's pretty fun watching me hmm, kill mobs. Much, It's much more interesting to watch, I mean, based on the based on the YouTubers I like to watch. I like to watch them, like, kill mobs instead of just mining cobblestone or um, sandstone or whatever. So, one, two, three, four. Yeah, let's just place that right here. Um, here's our sandstone mine. We're probably not going to need it. So, yeah, it's pretty inefficient. Maybe, maybe someday if we get enough iron we're, uh, and gold and redstone, we're maybe going to be able to build uh, a railroad here, but who knows? And yes, there's already mobs in here, but thank God we have arrows now, so we can just let's just kill those, just really easy. On, oh, no. oh my God! Oh, oh! One of them dropped a carrot. And oh my God, there's a lot of zombies in here. 
I'm just gonna stand here and just kill him. Oh my god. Oh yeah, they're all blocking them. So. Okay, okay, maybe, maybe he'll drop a sword. Maybe he'll drop a sword. We got it, guys. We friggin' got a carrot. I didn't even have to use my mob grinder to get it. And it's so epic. Yeah, anyway. Let's see. Yeah, that is pretty epic. I really thought we were gonna have to grind. We're gonna have to, um, hand kill all of the mobs. Wait, is there? I think I just heard no mobs here. Okay, good. Um, so I really thought that we were gonna have to get carrots from the grinder, but apparently we got carrots before. Which is really, really nice. So let's see. I don't know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually mine out some of this a bit right here. Then, but all of this right here. One, two, three, yeah. Just a three by three right here. Yeah, three by three square right here so I could have just space to go up. Let me just um, fill all of this in because I just don't like all these stupid holes right here. What I thought about doing is um, I thought about actually this is going to take, um, this is definitely going to take like wood. We're going to need wood for that. But let's see, maybe I should, uh, let me craft just, um, just in case, uh, um, a chest, which is going to be somewhere right here. Yeah, I'm going to place a chest right here, just a furnace right here, just in case. Like, put the carrot in there, just in case. So, so let me see. Let me just, I'm try I'm, I'm going to make some smooth stone right now out of that. And dang, wood is useful. It goes out pretty quick, so. Yes, right now I'm just going to light up all of this right here. So let's see. Oh, we got three, one, two, three, one, two, three, torch, 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 one, two, three, one, two, three, torch, one, two, three, torch, one, two, three. I'm just gonna leave this blank, yeah. One, two, three, torch right over here, torch right over here. Torch right over here. Torch right over here. Yeah, I'll just try to put them where I can. Let's see. One, two, three, torch. One, this one right here. And I do plan to mine more and more of this cobblestone, but we did mine out a pretty large room considering that we, um, um, that considering that we had to build a mob grinder, this doesn't look like a really big room to build a mob grinder. But one thing that I'd like to do, guys, is in this map is I actually really, really want to build, um, I really, really want to, like, mine out a very, very large area of uh, underground so we can get a slime chunk going because I want slimes because when we start getting into redstone stuff, and yes, guys, we will be getting into redstone stuff, don't worry. This is gonna be a really, really awesome let's play. We're gonna do redstone. We're gonna do um, we're gonna do mechanics. Uh, we're gonna do um, building of more mob grinders. We're gonna expand our mob grinder. We're gonna go to the Nether. We're gonna go to the end. It's going to be just so epic. I have so much. I have so so much. Um, like. I don't know how to put it in words. I have, like, very, very large expectations for this world. I'm really, really, really looking forward to this world. I think it will be very fun and a blast, and I hope you guys will have fun as well. Um, let me get that. Uh, but anyway, I don't really think... I don't really see a reason why I should uh, continue this Let's Play. I only really film really, really important things. So, this was my Kralix. And oh yes, um, let me just say real quick. I'm just, I'm just um, making smooth stone because I want to like, I, I don't want cobblestone here just because I don't like it how it looks like. So anyway, this is mine, Kralix. Thank you for watching this episode. I think it was a pretty short episode compared to my other episodes, but anyway, see you all in the next video.